Hi friends, I'm Abby. Welcome back to Abby's Digital Nook. Today we're going to be answering a question that popped up in my previous video's comments and that is how to change all of the black and white covers to color covers if you have transferred all your content from a black and white Kindle to a Kobo Libra color. So with everything that's been happening lately, a lot of people have just been switching from their Kindle over to the Kobo. I have had both and have had, I've had both for pretty much the same amount of time. So I technically haven't switched. I've just kind of moved all of my Kindle books over to my Kobo so that I have a backup, but I still use my Kindle regularly. So I've already done a couple videos on this topic um, on how to back up your books. I did a video on how to back up your Kindle books just in the native Kindle format. Then I did another video on how to back up your Kindle books using a PC. It allows you to prep the file so that you can convert it to other formats like EPUB and that kind of stuff, which is what I did for transferring it to my Kobo. However, if you backed up your books from your Kindle directly into Calibre, instead of backing up your Kindle books from the Kindle for PC app, then all of your books are gonna be in black and white, or all of the covers of your books will be in black and white when you transfer into Calibre. So this video is for anyone who has black and white books currently, and they're moving it over to a color e-reader device, and they're like, oh my God, my covers are black and white. So in Calibre, obviously the first thought for anyone is, oh, I'll just switch out the covers to the color covers, and then transfer it to my Kobo, which that is step one, and you would think that would be it, but that's not it. Because when you transfer the books to your Kobo, even though you've changed the cover to color, it still shows up on your Kobo in black and white. So despite you pulling the metadata, despite you switching out the covers and uploading your own covers, it's still not reading it as a color. The first thing you're gonna need is to get this plugin, which I will put on the screen right here. You'll need that plugin in order to make changes on your Kobo using Calibre. So once you've got this plugin, that's gonna allow you to delete the cover and re-upload the cover. And so that's ex essentially what you have to do. So first you're going to get this plugin. Once you have it, just install it to your Calibre and make sure it's all set up and restart your Calibre. Okay, so I already have this plugin obviously, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get it if you don't already have it. You have to go to your preferences and then go to plugins. And for me, it's gonna be in my plugins area down here, so I'm just gonna type in Kobo Utilities and it's right there. But if you don't have it, you'll need to hit get new plugins. And from there, you'll have to search for Kobo Utilities. So it says filter by name, you would type it in there. Mine's not showing because I already installed it, but it would show up there. You would select that and hit install. And when it does show up and you've installed it and restarted your caliber, then you'll be ready to start um, so once you've got it installed, then you'll need to select all the books that have the black and white covers and you'll need to upload the metadata. You can find all the metadata by just kind of clicking on search for metadata. Select the book and then hit edit metadata and that's going to bring up this window here and you'll see the covers in black and white. Now, logically, we'll be like, oh, let's just switch out the cover here, but that's actually not going to update the cover in your Kobo. But you do need to update it here too. So I search for the metadata to make sure it's accurate, and it's gonna give you a bunch of just options of different things that they think this book is. You find the correct one, which I can see here is The Goal by Al Kennedy. I'm just gonna go ahead and select that, press OK, and then it's going to find the covers or available covers for this book. I've been selecting the cover that is that has both dimensions in the thousands. That way it is the crispiest and brightest and largest image that I can get for my cover. And I won't have to worry about blurriness or anything like that. So Google Images usually has the best one. Once you've done that, you just hit OK. Once you've done that and you've got all of your color covers and all of the info that you want on there, follow these steps to upload the covers. So I've plugged in my Kobo now and I searched for the book or I actually just searched by author so I could find the book faster and I double checked to make sure to see if anything changed. Nothing changed with the book. It's still black and white. So here's what we have to do to get the covers actually updated to color. So first find the book back in your library. Obviously I've got mine all linked because I'm going to do all three of them at the same time. You're going to go to Kobo Utilities and you're actually going to hit upload covers. What that's going to do is now update the cover that's currently on your device and 
it's still not going to be immediate. What you're going to have to actually do is remove those books now from your device. So select all three or one book or however many books that you have that have the black and white. To do that, you're just going to select all the books you want to delete, right click and hit remove selected books. Do Delete it from your device, not in your library. Okay, make sure you're on your device. Then go back to your library. And this is where, just to be safe, I actually go back and I upload my covers again just to be safe because I want to make sure it's definitely uploaded in color. I don't change any of the settings. I just hit upload covers again. Then I drag it to my device. So I just click all the books and just drag it over to the device and then it will say it's uploaded when it has the green check on the left hand side then I can go to my device and I can select on the books and see if the cover has uploaded it will show so even though it shows this little tiny picture it's actually not small it's going to be regular size it's going to be the file size that you put but um, for some reason it shows up as this tiny little image on um, Calibre but trust me it's not so once they're uploaded, that's it. And then now you can see that it's currently in color on your device and color in your library. And that's how you swap all the covers out. So now all of your black and white Kindle books are going to be in color on your Kobo. The good thing is, this is you only have to do this once. It's not gonna be something you have to constantly do over and over. Um, once you've converted all of your entire Kindle library, it's gonna stay that way unless you continue to get more Kindle books and then you need to convert them over to Kobo as well. Um, but um, once you've put the uploaded the covers and organized it, then it's gonna be organized. Speaking of organization, I like to keep my books organized into series and I talked about this in my previous video. So if you haven't seen that, I suggest you go check that out. I showed you guys a little trick to do in Calibre that allows you to have all of your books showing up under the series category, even if it's not part of an official series. And that way you have all of your series grouped together and then you have all the individual books group, grouped individually, but listed in the same tab. So um, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. And that, I feel like that's a great way to keep all of your Cobra books organized and it looks really nice as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video, this little tips video. If you did, please go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new to my channel because we are so close to 1000 and so close to getting monetized finally. Um, so if you guys really enjoy my content or if you find any of the content that I've posted useful, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in, a, in another video coming up very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.